Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead Patera with you today. Quick video, we went on a field trip today. As we are preparing to have a new baby calf, we decided to run a few errands today and go a couple of special places. And I have had it in the works in my mind and on the farm and we've talked about it multiple times and I've even talked about it with y'all that I'm wanting to add quail. We added quail today to the farm. Now, we just got them home. I literally have just set up this, so set the uh, incubator up. Let me see if I can get one baby, because I want you to see how small these little quails are. You need to get the kids, because this is going to be a moment where you go, oh my goodness. If I can get them at, at least one out, there's one scurrying around. Oh, there's one. Come here, Scooter. And I'm going to place it right here so you can see next to a quarter <laughs> how big they are. So we have decided to add this. We are going to be figuring out, we have an idea of how we want to do um, their setup permanently. Um, but I didn't expect to get quail today. Just sort of fell into our hands per se. And we're very, very excited. I think this is going to be another addition to the farm. The eggs are excellent. Um, you've got quick turnover with these sweethearts. It's really, you know, about whatever you want to make it. So we're really excited about that. So it's another step on our farm. And you can just see they screw around. They want to get back under the heat. Now, I will um, say that what I've done is I've added right now just regular chick feed. And I went ahead and put some, like, here I go. I've put some cornmeal in there, non-GMO cornmeal. And then over here, I have a different base, very small base. You would not use the standard chicky baby base that you're used to seeing for chicks, okay? They can drown in here. Clearly, if you're as big as a quarter, uh, you know, it'd be easy for you to drown in a much bigger setup than that. So the lady that I bought the um, quail from, she sells these also. But you, I have seen them, so I know that you can get them. It was $3. Okay, so that gives me an option for watering them. So... We're going to continue to roll with this. I'm really excited. This is brand new. I know a lot of you out there have quail, uh, you know, and have added that to your farm. Very easy. Let me, let me get under here so you can see a little bit better. It's like little M&Ms or marbles just rolling around. They're so sweet. I love them. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to get them back under the heat source and get them settled in. Clearly, they're going to be chilling. So I put this on the lowest setting, really thick pine shavings. I'm going to keep an eye on the heat here for them. So I just wanted to show you what we've added to the farm. We will keep you updated on the progress of them and how we change things up and what we add. We appreciate you watching, and I'm not going to pull them out again. So if you like what you see here, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Just another step forward in the continual work in progress on the homestead. Y'all take care out there.